Uh, next up, I have Mike Lindbergh. First of all, I owe Mike an apology. I was supposed to give him an email, and I didn't. I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Representing Senator Joe Donnelly's campaign is, uh, as his political director, Mike got, got his start working as an intern uh, in Joe's Washington, D.C. office in the summer of 2014. Before joining his staff as a senator's special assistant, um, Mike came back to Indiana to join the campaign in July. Thank you. We need smart people here. Um, in 2017, and has spent the past year traveling the state to make sure that we send Joe back to Washington to stand up for Hoosiers in the nation's capital. You may have seen him driving the RV uh, on one of the campaign's uh, tours at events like representing the campaign, um, and even at the Southside Democrat Club. Listen, I, I don't know. You guys can fight over, you know, how left or how right or in the middle uh, Joe Donnelly is, but I, I want you to remember one thing, and I, I know Mike is going to touch on this, and this is me personally. We were one vote away from losing the Affordable Care Act, and that vote was Joe Donnelly's. Come on, Mike, give it to him. Hey, everybody. Uh, Thanks again for having us here, Harlan Enrique. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, I know uh, I know the senator wishes he could be here today, uh, but I'll try and uh, do my part and keep it brief here. I know it's a hot day. Um, but yeah, to, to talk a little bit, um, I know this conversation is so personal, so uh, uh, profound for so many people. I'm going to talk a little bit about the legislative side, and then I'll talk a little bit about uh, what we can do on our side to do more to uh, kind of change the conversation. Um, you know, whether it was comprehensive immigration reform in 2013 or, uh, or the DREAM Act most recently in February, uh, you know, the kind of legislative solutions that we've seen to problems uh, pertaining to immigration, uh, the real roadblock to that progress is that the conversation itself isn't happening in good faith. You know, so we'll vote on an issue. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the DREAM Act. Dreamers, if you talk to everybody in D.C., everyone supports the Dreamers until it comes time for a vote, until it comes time to make that step to get things right. Um, and I know, I, you know, we put four bills uh, past the Senate and, and, and in front of the president, and each one, he said no. Uh, the administration said no uh, because they couldn't take yes for an answer. They, they didn't want to see this progress. This issue was held hostage. And uh, so for us, what we can do is to create a Congress, to create a state house, as some, of, some other folks are going to talk about, willing to have that conversation. Um, and for us, what that means on the political side is to go out and get involved, uh, make sure everyone is registered to vote, make sure folks are turning out, and so that the representatives we elect, uh, more than anything, are willing to just have this conversation. Because when we're talking about things like separating families, when we're talking about it, horrible, horrible issues of not accepting refugees. Uh, that, that's taking away from the, the common sense solutions like comprehensive immigration reform or supporting the dreamers that everyone supports. Uh, and so getting to that point, getting to that conversation, that's what we can do in November. That's what we can do across this country. It's what has to happen for this to happen. So uh, I would encourage everyone here to reach out to your state uh, local and federal elected officials, whether it's uh, Congressman Carson's office, uh, Joe's office, the door's always open. Um, but on the political side, we need folks to get involved. We need to folks knock doors, make sure people turn out in November. Uh, that'll do it for me. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.